Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy, here with a lot of great ideas and tips and concepts to help your life go better. So I'm in the middle of making a series of videos about narcissism. And today I wanna to talk with you about a really frustrating part of having a narcissist in your life. And that is the fact that they are so capable of triggering us just making us insane okay so look if you have a narcissist in your life or you've had a narcissist in your life you know this is part of the thing even if you have come to the place in your life where you've kind of come to peace with it you understand it you kind of know what it is and you found a way to come to peace with it you're still going to get triggered by them right it takes a lot of work to get to that place. So at some point people think like, ah, I shouldn't get triggered by them anymore. Um, but they always have the capacity to trigger us. If you haven't done that work yet, you know, and, and you're still on this part of the journey, uh, where you haven't figured out a way to come to terms with it, they're gonna be triggering you all the time. But even if you kind of cross the Rubicon of that journey and you're over on this side, it's never one and done, right? There always comes a day where they get you again. And I always tell people, look, the goal is not to be ungettable by the narcissist because at some point they're gonna do something so crazy that it's gonna get you again. Your jaw is gonna be on the floor again. You're gonna be triggered again. You're gonna be raging again. So the goal is never to, to be free of that, but for that to happen a lot less often. And when it happens, you know what it is, you recognize it and you're able to move past it. So look, in my last video, I talked about, you know, the reality of what narcissists are, right? They're not capable of, of reciprocity. Their, their brains are different. And so if we are not narcissistic, if we have a normal brain, which means we are by nature reciprocal, the, the give and take of, of normal relationship, empathy, being able to care about other people's experiences, it is so fundamentally hard to understand the way that they operate and the things that they do. So even if you can finally get to a better place with it, the stuff they do is so crazy and so outrageous and so not normal that at some point your jaw will drop again. And that is a good thing about you. Because what that means is you have a working amygdala. <laughs> you have working mirror neurons. You have empathy on board. Because the only people who truly don't care, right, are sociopaths. Like if you're not reacting, you're probably a sociopath, right, at some point. So what it means about you is not that you're a fool or weak or whatever thing you want to tell yourself about that, it means that you are an empathic being in the world and when people do things that are so shocking and so crazy, you feel it and you react. So our hope is that we can, we can get to a better place with it, right? And we can recognize who they are and what they are and that helps to oh my gosh, does it help to de-energize a lot of this? But listen, there's always going to come a time where they're going to trigger you. So part of the work in dealing with a narcissist, part of the really important work that you probably are going to need to do in therapy, because this is almost impossible to do on your own, is really understanding what your triggers are and how the narcissist plays on those and uses them and manipulates you via those. Because they're really smart about knowing what your triggers are, right? So that is all part of the work. So listen again, I'm in the middle of making a bunch of videos about narcissism. Um, I will put the link to the other videos in the description down below, but I will be having more coming out. There's also a playlist on this channel about dealing with narcissism. So if this is a topic of interest to you, go check out that playlist, see the other um, videos that I have already put out and the ones that are coming out. I would really encourage you to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell when you do subscribe so that you don't miss any of the other videos coming out. 
Um, also, if this video was helpful to you, please, please like it and also please share it, pass it along because if it's helpful to you, it will be helpful to somebody else, all right? So if you wanna know more about me, you can look at the description in, of this video down below and that has a link to my website, Resilient Life Therapy. I hope that this was helpful and remember, if they trigger you, it just means you have empathy on board. They are gonna trigger, trigger you again at some point. Okay guys, all right, have a great day. Bye.